Forests are a lifeline to the ecological health, economic growth, and well-being of society. Currently, one-third of the United States is covered by forest, and 1.6 billion trees are planted every year, enough to cover Los Angeles, Chicago, and New York City. Yet more trees need to be planted to create a more sustainable future. Surprisingly, working forest, privately owned forest managed by professional foresters, plant 75% of all trees, while only harvesting 2% to produce nearly $300 billion in wood products. This accounts for 5% of all U.S. manufacturing GDP and creates more than a million jobs. I'm Tymon McPherson. I'm an ecologist and director of the Urban Systems Lab at the New School in New York City. I'm here in an active working forest outside Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina, with New Yorker Brand Studio to investigate how sustainable forestry can help support a circular economy and protect our environment now and in the future. Working forest adoption of sustainable land management strategies provides some of the most promising natural solutions to mitigate climate change. I spent the day with Tiffany Roddy, district forester, to explore the operations, technologies, and deliberately managed forestry cycles that working forests are utilizing to sequester carbon and create sustainable wood products while keeping the ecosystem healthy. As far as being a forester, it's this it's this long-term thing. It's bigger than you or me. This tree will probably be harvested and replanted by somebody who's in middle school right now. And so you don't get into this by not caring about the environment. We all want healthy, healthy trees, healthy animals, and clean water to drink. I think one of the things that maybe people don't normally understand is that the whole process you have of harvesting trees to make wood products depends entirely on planting new trees that can grow up and actually become a forest that you can harvest. Our commitment to sustainability is that we'll, we'll always have trees available and that involves us planting trees after we harvest, after every harvest. Tell me more about the sustainability practices you have in terms of managing uh, the different aspects of the forest. Ensuring that these trees are healthy and productive is critical to our business model. Trees, as they get older, they naturally compete for their resources. We go in and thin, which is taking out those suppressed trees that allows the remaining trees to grow much larger because they have those resources. This is exciting. <laughs> so yeah, this is a core. This is the inside of the tree. And you can see right here in the center is where the tree started when it was planted. And so the, these are the early years. Yeah, these are the early years. And each of these dark lines is a tree ring. So that's each year. You can tell how fast the tree is growing, if maybe there was a lot of competition for light, water, nutrients, um, and if there's anything we need to do as far as forest management. When you harvest a tree and you create a wood product, you're actually storing carbon. So this tree right here over its life will have stored half a ton of metric carbon. About 10 of these trees would offset the emissions from one car for one year. The sustainable forest management that we perform to produce these is the climate solution. Through carbon emissions reductions and nature-based strategies, working forests can scale up carbon sequestration and storage in healthy, safe, and proven ways such efforts can pave the way for us to use our forest assets as economic pillars and environmental safeguards. I sat down with Ann Bartuska, senior contributing scientist at the Environmental Defense Fund and former head of research and development for the U.S. Forest Service, to discuss the way forestry is advancing sustainability and climate change mitigation. What we have here in the United States is a really healthy forest industry and forestry community that is always looking at regrowing and replanting after a harvest, which is different than a deforestation where you're moving it from forest to agriculture or forest to urban or forest to something else. Recently, the White House issued an executive order on nature-based solutions, and it called out forest as one of the key strategies for climate mitigation. So I'm curious, how do you see the forestry industry's role in mitigating the climate, and how does that work? 
One way is to have a growing forest so that you're taking CO2 out of the atmosphere and storing it in the tree. You also get carbon benefit by moving that material from the tree into a product that, that extends its life. So let's say you have a, a house that is going to be around 80 years or 100 years. You're actually now storing that carbon for the longer period of time, even as you're growing the new forest. Where do you see the forestry industry going in the future? Recently, the U.S. Forest Service released an assessment of forest resources. And one of the things that states very clearly is the utilization of wood products in all its forms is going to continue to increase. So the future of the industry is how do you stay ahead of that curve, producing the materials that people want, even as you try to achieve sustainability goals. There's constant innovation within the forest industry to reduce its footprint, to take advantage of these different technologies, and to get longer-term carbon storage in buildings. To me, the greatest challenge of my generation and my children's generation is this combined global challenge of climate change and biodiversity loss. And forests really represent an opportunity space, right? Um, we, we can actually solve both challenges by investing and caring, preserving, um, but also growing and sustainably managing these forests. Forests are the lungs of our planet, absorbing air pollutants, taking carbon out of the atmosphere, breathing out oxygen, and cooling our hot cities through evapotranspiration and shading. We have enormous potential to use our working forests as a nature-based solution for climate mitigation and adaptation, not only in places like the Roanoke Timberlands, but also in our cities and rural areas across the country. Every small effort to protect and sustainably manage our forests contributes to a better environment and safeguards our future. Trees are the answer. They're the answer to building materials, to the climate, to wildlife habitat. Forests have this place in people's hearts where it's where they go to unwind, to relax, to recharge, to recreate, and to be able to care for and steward this resource. It is such a great responsibility, but a privilege that I never in my wildest dreams would have thought I'd be able to have.